Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we finally defeated Metaton once and for all. But he told us that this has all been a ruse. Alphys isn't really as incompetent as we think she is. She's been purposefully messing up our adventure for so long just so she could save us for her own self-gratification. And supposedly... This is the door that leads us to Asgore. <sighs> if I've learned anything from this game, it's to always expect the unexpected. But even that can never prepare me for whatever we end up seeing. Whatever it is, we have to face it eventually. So let's go. Wait! I mean, um, I... I was just going to, um, say goodbye, and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul. And a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. When faced in these situations, even when I'm trying so hard to be the pacifist in so many games, and even in games that don't really ever require you to kill anyone, it's always been an unwritten rule that regardless of your morals or ethics or everything that you've done up to the very end, you always kill the final boss. So, this is going to be interesting. There's going to be some sort of consequence to killing him, but it was to be expected that we'd have to fight him at some point and that we would want to. But at the same time, in my very specific situation, I already have a monster soul on my side, don't I? Maybe we could get out of this another way. Because if anyone is going to help me escape by sacrificing their soul, I would want it to be her and nobody else. Let's see if that'll be enough. Oh boy, <laughs> finally a new background. That's how you know things are getting real. This very well may be the final episode. I have no idea. Oh wow, not even a message. I think this is actually it. This is the final battle. The elevator is in use. It's the city. The one that I've looked at on my PS4 for so long. The one that mystified me and intrigued me. I wanted to see where this place was what it represented, and who inhabited these buildings, and these roads. 
this land a lot darker than what I was led to believe it to be. But we finally made it here. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Come full circle, haven't we? Oh my god, we're, we're actually back here. It's a golden flower. It's the only thing that hasn't been altered. Wait a minute. The flower is the only thing that hasn't been altered. And there's a gate here now. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! Oh, jeez, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. Keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. What would this place be like if she were still alive? Photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it anymore. Seems like gardening tools. It's a golden flower. And enemies are here? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh god, they're gonna make me feel terrible for what I did. Took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. A keychain, seriously. Oh my god, it's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. We still have it after all this time. Stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. There's some white fur stuck to the drain. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. The bridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. This was... Our room or her room? I can't remember. I think this was her room. It's a heart-shaped locket inside, inside the box. Will you take it? This is actually an item that comes with the Undertale Collector's Edition. A real physical locket. And I'm sure it holds a lot of meaning to people who play this game, but... I haven't really understood it until right now. Heart locket. Armor defense 15. It says best friends forever. Worn dagger inside the box. Worn Dagger, Weapon Attack 15, perfect for cutting plants and vines. How convenient. Equip the dagger. Equip the locket. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. This was our room. It's a twin size bed. Dusty toys, there are two beds in here. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. It's a drawing of a golden flower. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Were there two beds here before? Because I seem to have a history of playing games where there's just like a minor hint of bedrooms with two beds and it ends up meaning something. Oh 
Oh boy. It's a golden flower. Room under renovations. This was our room, wasn't it? Or Toriel's? Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a golden flower. Despite everything, it's still you. I've heard this line before. I didn't know this is where it was from, but that's a very impactful thing to say, and the way it's all laid out. Despite everything we've done, everything that we've gone through, the mistakes we made, the mistakes that we witnessed others make, and how they affected us, despite how much we've changed, it's built us into who we are today, and it'll always be us, whether we like it or not. We couldn't come in here before, right? It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, Nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's just a chair. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. Oh my god, Asgore and Toriel were married, weren't they? Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Clothes drawer, there are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Toriel was the queen of the underground. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a king size bed. Macaroni art of a flower. For King Dad. I feel so uncomfortable right now. The one mistake I made. I assume if we killed Papyrus, then our interactions with Sans would be drastically different. If we killed Metaton, what would be of the army that were about to meet the leader of, I'm sure he would be furious about us killing Metaton as well. If we killed Undyne... It just feels like I made one mistake, and it was the most crucial and terrible mistake I could have possibly made throughout the entire game. I think Torio was the queen of the underground and married to Asgore. And I have to face him now, knowing what I did to her. Oh. This could only end poorly. <sighs> then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, The human died. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power.
with the human soul as Ryo crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Next time on Undertale, the finale, we're going to escape the underground or die trying. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.